we're going to do now. I'm going to be single for the next six months at least. And I said, no, actually, you don't have to. Foreign dating is now a thing. <laughs> This is the whole irony of this speed dating swipe life. It's gone so fast. And for a long time as an author, I've really wanted it to slow down and just get to know each other a little bit more before you all of a sudden think that they're the one or they're the one that you want to eventually meet up with or even just give all of your time to. So really take your time and slow this down. This is a pure online relationship which can have so much more meaning than you ever realized. And we need to take advantage of that. So ask a lot of questions, be interested in each other's lives. Saying, oh, you're hot or send me a selfie is not going to cut it anymore. I think we all understand that we're connecting now on a deeper level and it's really important to be relevant and fun. I know it's a really depressing time right now, but you have to keep things light. And a lot of my favorite opening lines are, you know, some readers have told me that somebody has said, what are you panic buying today? And I actually had someone slide into my DMs on Instagram and ask me if I would be his quarantine. <laughs> I mean, I'm, okay. no, no judgment, Andy. I'm not gonna judge, like, I would not appreciate that, but you would. <laughs> But how could you not at least laugh and start up a conversation, you know? And that's the beginning of all courting, is enjoying yourself. In my book, there's a chapter called Weed Out the Weirdos. You still have to learn how to do that really fast because there will still be some people who are not just weird or socially awkward, but potentially a fake profile. So we need to get those out of the way real quick so that we can now spend time with the people who are genuine and we you know even though we have a lot of time on our hands we still don't have time for anything that's not genuine